So in this video, I'll be looking at Kassela and Berger Statistical Inferences, Chapter 1, Problem 5. In these types of questions, I have noticed that it is easier if we have a tree diagram. So I try to build a tree diagram while I'm reading the uh, sentences. First sentence, approximately one third of all humans are identical and two thirds are fraternal twins. So one third are identical twins and two thirds are fraternal twins. So this is identical twins and this is fraternal twins. Probability of having identical twins is one third. Probability of having fraternal twins is two thirds. Next. Identical twins are necessarily the same sex with male and female being equally likely. Right. So from identical twins, the probability of having both male is half. Probability of having both female is again half. Right, next. Among fraternal twins, approximately one fourth are both female, one fourth are both male, and half are one female and one male. So when it comes to fraternal twins, there are three outcomes. So one fourth of the time, both would be males. Another one fourth of the time, both would be females. Half of the time, it is one male and one female right next last sentence finally among all u.s births one in 90 is a twin birth right uh, so when there's a birth when there's a birth one in 90 they are twins then Others are not twins. The probability of not twins is 1 minus 1 over 90, which is 89 over 90. Okay. So most of the time they are not twins, but 1 in 90 results in a twin birth. Right. Now this is really easy. We can answer any questions we have. Right. First we'll read the question. State in words the event A intersection, B intersection, C. Right. So first it must be twin females, twin females, then they must be identical, and finally, they must be a twin. So, if you go from top to bottom, it would be easier. We need twins, they must be identical, and they must be female. So, this is the event of, event of US birth. Results in a results in a results in identical twin females. Event of a US birth results in identical twin females. Okay, next. Next we have to find the probability of this event probability of a intersection b intersection c right so this is part b probability of a intersection b intersection c we know these events are independent of each other that means being a twin and identical twins and like resulting twin females these are independent events so you can just simply multiply the probabilities probability of a into probability of b into probability of c Okay. First, probability of having twin twin females. That means we'll, we'll look at the branch we want. Okay. First, they must be twins. That's a 1 over 90 chance. Next, they must be identical. So this is the identical twins branch. Next, they must be twin females. So this is the branch we need. Okay. So the probability of having twin females this is half into 
probability of having identical twins this is one third into probability of having twins this is 1 over 90 so the final answer is 1 over 540 right so since you guys have this Venn diagram you can answer any question you want right so if you guys have any questions post it in the comments okay. thank you